April the 21st, 2019. Guys, I hope everyone's had a safe Passover weekend with the way folks travel. The skies have cleared here in the last few days and it's getting warmer. It is 71 degrees outside right now at 7.24 p.m. Central. It has been a beautiful, sunny, early uh, or late spring day, guys. It's uh, been a wonderful day to think about the Passover and uh, the resurrection. Now, of course, I know that um, the Passover on one calendar is different from the ones on other ones, depending on if you understand what the ripening of the Aviv is. But regardless of that, I hope it's been a good weekend. Now, with clearing skies here in the southeast and in a lot of areas, you may want to pay attention because we're starting to get into the Lyriot meteor shower. Notice your timestamp. I've got it set for today at 421, 2019. And uh, you've got the sun in the middle, Mer Mercury, Venus, Mars, Earth in the blue circle. That's us right there. And we're entering into, uh, again, the Lyriot meteors. And let me tilt this up a little before I start it. And kind of get it close to what we call the ecliptic of our solar system. And you can see that uh, this particular meteor shower, which many have all originated from one original comet. And we talked about that earlier. Remember in June, we're going through some pretty strong torrid meteors. But uh, tonight, we're starting to get into that. And as I get this uh, automation moving forward, you'll see that in the white line, this is the actual debris trail that we're dealing with. Again, the sun's in the middle, and uh, I'll kind of turn the orbits off, but you can see the different colors, Mercury and Venus, Mars in the red out here, guys, and Earth. And let's just kind of let this move forward, and you'll see the progression. We Again, turn the ecliptic up. We've got the Earth moving in the blue. And the meteor shower is diving very close to our planet. Let's kind of center it like this and give you an idea how thick it actually is. Again, these are models. And a lot of them are done by radar. We'll put these orbit lines back on, just kind of give you an idea without that. But uh, the blue line is the Earth's orbit, and you can see how close the meteor shower comes in. Now, even though we have clear skies, we're dealing with uh, what was last night, the peak of the full moon. So it's going to be bright during a lot of this period of time. But if you're in the clear skies, keep your eye opening, uh, open because... They're, these can be very interesting. And I, I wanted to do this video. There's so much political mayhem going on right now that I just wanted to back out. Everyone's kind of getting um, overloaded with it. I'm about to the point where we're going to let them work it out a little bit instead of reporting on every move. But it looks like that the investigation is turning on the Democrats. Let me say this. But again... I just wanted to kind of bring something else up, guys. And I love the meteor showers. I love looking at the comets. And you can see if we kind of back this thing out. It goes out towards Jupiter. Many of these uh, orbits do. They are originally comets. They would break apart and another part break apart. And we have different uh, meteor showers. But it's during these times that not only is it beautiful to watch, but if you were going to have something like the chair blinks, meteor shower you it would be during uh more than likely going through a debris trail of one of these comets but again the earth is in the blue as we move forward notice where i already went it's pretty fast movement and but uh it, i want to show you another thing that uh, is remarkable or remarkable to me about these meteor showers in this particular model is that as they move forward and i'm going to speed it up a little bit they act like uh currents in a river and you got these ebbs and everything on the side guys and they you have uh, the basic meteor shower that travels through this orbital path which was probably once part of the original comet but if you look closer some of them are all comets and all debris trails are affected by the gravity of the Sun that's why they dive into the inner solar system and they're because of the slingshot effect, and they're sped up almost 10 times by the time they get close to the sun. They can go from a million miles today, a day 
to 10 or 11 million miles per day, just like a comet, and they're slung back out towards Jupiter. But some are trapped, and I think these are the ones that usually give us trouble. In this, just like in a uh, the edge of a river, we see the current trapped and turned backwards. Some of these objects are probably the larger ones. If you think about the ones that would have the strongest gravitational uh, pull between them and the sun, or don't make it back out into orbit. They're pulled out of that loop, back in closer. You see that? So some come around uh, at uh, multiple times during one cycle. Now the Earth doesn't always go through them. As you can see here, I've got it sped up just to show you that. It's when the Earth rotates into that debris field. Now with the Taurus coming up in June and the scientists are concerned about us going through that very thick debris trail, we actually go through it twice as it comes and goes. This one doesn't do us like that, but the uh, again tonight, and it's going to peak on the 23rd and the 24th, so you still got a few nights to the peak. But if you can uh, get a break from this bright moon, check it out. If you get any pictures, guys, let us know. Again, Passover is about our Lord Jesus Christ. It's not about Easter bunnies. It's not about eggs. Fertility rites of Estar. Try to remind people of that without insulting their Easter traditions, but as with many other true Christian traditions, they've been um, counseled out by Satan by introducing the satanic rites of the spring fertility rites of the egg and the rabbit, guys. That's what it's all about. Try to teach your kids better. I know it's kind of like Santa Claus, but this is the most holy day. In the Christian calendar. It's not the first. Passover was not, uh, it didn't begin when Christ resurrected. It happened on Passover, which began with Moses and Egypt. It's a heads up, guys. Be safe.